All right. This is a down and dirty video regarding the Coleman North Face Zero Degree Sleeping Bag. Now, if you're watching this video right now, you're either watching it on my YouTube channel or you may be viewing it through Amazon on my actual review. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I read a lot of reviews that said, man, this bag is just too tiny. It's too tight. I can't use it. And uh, there was one reviewer said something about being five foot six and 150 pounds and could not fit in this bag because it's too snug. Well, I'm here to show you that it is plenty big enough. I'm not a big man myself. I am five foot eight. Right now, I weigh 205. When I bought this bag, I weighed 235. And I fit just fine in it. And I'm going to show you that today. And it's not so much about uh, the insulative value, anything like that. A zero degree bag, okay, doesn't mean necessarily that you may sleep snug as a bug in a rug at zero degrees Fahrenheit. But it does mean that if the temperature gets down to in the 20s, or even down to zero, if you do everything right, you won't die in your sleep, okay? You're not going to die from exposure hypothermia and uh, a bag like this can save your life if used properly uh, I also read reviews people said man it didn't it got down barely below 50 degrees and I froze my butt off you know I don't see how that's physically possible uh, I don't know a lot about sleeping bag and how well it works for you is based on your knowledge of how to use it, just like any other piece of equipment, okay? Now, first things first, good base layer, okay? I'm not wearing a great base layer. Uh, Man-made fibers, you know, synthetic. Polyester is what I use. I like polyester, it's wicking. And uh, it dries quickly, it's easily, it's easy to wash. And uh, there's just a lot of benefit to polyester. Now, I've tried cotton as an underlayer and froze my butt off. Polyester, though, uh, this bag is, this is a poly bag, okay, inside and out. So, <clears throat> what do we got here? Polyester t-shirt, not cotton. I love the wicking. I wear these a lot. I wear them in cold weather. I wear them in warm. But guys, <laughs> I really like this bag. Tell you what, I like it so much. I said in my review, if you read, read my review, that I liked it so much I was going to buy another for my wife. And I did. And she loves it as much as I do. So, <sighs> now we'll get to the fit test. Okay. Want to stay warm? Wool socks. These aren't fantastic. 80% merino wool. They come from Tractor Supply. Uh, Carhartts is what they are. And like I said, polyester for my base layer. Uh, if you want to, you can wear a cap. You can wear something like that. Uh, but I found that this bag, this hood, is plenty warm. Uh, so I don't always wear a cap. But anyway, as I said, 5 foot 8 inches tall. 205 right now. I was 235 when I bought the bag. The zipper, when you first buy one, a little bit of a pain in the butt. The zipper has to work. It has to operate for a while. Zip it up and down, like I said in my review, a few times to loosen it up, limber it up, and show it what it needs to do. Now, Myself being five foot eight, uh, like I said, there's God's plenty of room in here. My chest is 44 inches. All right. There's piping inside on the zipper to keep your zipper from being a, a weak point. Now look at this. I'm completely in this bag. Get my hood on here. 
drawstring over here at the side. You can cinch this puppy down. Being polyester, it's cold when you first crawl into it, but it warms almost instantly. And now, if I slide all the way up into this hood like I am now, at my feet, at the end of this box, I don't know if you can see it or not, probably not, I have eight inches of foot room below my feet of this box that's left. So this bag will accommodate somebody up to six foot, two inches in height. And as you can see, I literally have plenty of room. I can cross my left leg in the center of the bag over my right leg and there's plenty of room to move. And my upper torso, I'm not constricted at all. Look at this. Arms down to my side, arms across my chest. If I push out on the bag, look at that. It's big, okay? I could fit my dog in here on top of me and she's not a big dog by any means. She's a walker, a tricolor treating walker and English pointer mix, so she's a bird dog and she probably weighs 45 pounds and I could easily get her in here and lay her on top of me. So there's no way that somebody five foot six and 150 pounds cannot fit in this bag. And as far as those saying that they don't stay warm, well, like I said, a zero degree bag doesn't mean you may necessarily sleep like a baby in zero degrees and be warm and toasty. It means if you do everything right, you'll survive, okay? You won't die in your sleep. However, if you do some things right, you can have a very comfortable night even in cold conditions, all right? Like I said, base layer, that's a good number one starter. Something insulating under you. I brought a mattress out, a mattress out of my motorhome under my lean-to for that purpose because I got something under me battling uh, conduction and convection. This bag reflects your body heat back up to you. However, when you lay on top of this fabric, it's nice and it's fluffy. But you're compressing what's underneath you. But still, it keeps you nice and warm. Uh, now, as far as something else you can do to stay warm at night before you bed down, complex carbohydrates are a good idea. See, the benefit of a complex carbohydrate right before you bed down is the fact that complex carbs are harder for your body to digest. Therefore, as a side effect of digesting complex carbohydrates, your body produces more heat. So you warm yourself from the inside out. And trust me, 20 degree weather, uh, my go-to actually is maple and brown sugar malt meal because I can throw it in my pack. All I have to do is add it to a little bit of water. Uh, I don't have to put anything else in it. It's just sweet enough that you don't have to add anything to it. Oatmeal is also very, very good as a complex carbohydrate. So, you know, uh, any whole grain or multi-grain cereals, hot cereals, really good. And there are a lot of other things that you can do. And, you know, I'll leave that on you as far as complex carbs go. But a little bit of a complex carb right before, you know, 20 minutes maybe before you bed down will go a long way toward also keeping you warmer at night but <laughs> like I said it's a great bag I love it uh, my wife loves hers and yeah I could eat matter of fact my son is about five foot ten and 290 and he could fit this bag all right so uh, if you guys are on the fence about buying this bag, I say go for it. You know, you're not going to regret it. It's a good purchase. It's not all that expensive. It's kind of on the, you know, not high end. It's definitely not an Ozark trail bag. However, you know, it's not real costly either. This is a good mid-range option. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you can't beat it for the buck, guys. All right. Well, um... And this is going to be also for my YouTube channel. Uh, for you guys that um, haven't yet, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Drop questions and comments down below. And I always, everybody, if you've commented on my channel before, you know that I answer my questions. And I always res reply or respond to comments. So um, thank you very much, guys, for your views and your support. And I'll get another video out to you guys as soon as I can. 
have a good night and I'm gonna enjoy this nice warm bag for a little while <laughs> good night guys <laughs>